what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it Go ahead. what's good so i've done a showcase of this unit in the past but with the recent uh upgrade to the movie boss category with the super saiyan broly as well as a bunch of new units that uh, were added into this category itself, I figured I'd do an updated showcase of this uh, Final Form Cooler unit because honestly, uh, I rate this guy pretty highly and it is somewhat underrated in my opinion. So um, just for those you know players that don't necessarily have the physical counterpart or you know lacking dupes, uh, this guy's certainly a pretty good option to include on a variety of teams. Uh, this is going to be on the movie boss category, but he does fall into, you know, the uh, enhanced transformation and uh, most malevolent clan. So he's a pretty, pretty solid unit overall, and uh, he does pretty well. Um, I did give this guy uh, full crits, level 20, just to get him to hit as hard as possible. He still has level 6 and additional attacks, so he'll do pretty decent in terms of activating, you know, additional attacks here and there. But uh, let's just go, go ahead and cover the uh, stats real quick. Um, so leader skill is agility, tech, and physical type, key plus two, HP, attack, and defense increase of 30%. Not really going to be utilized as a leader, but uh, as a unit itself, pretty solid. So super attack uh, will cause supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy. Uh, passive skill is a flat 90% boost to attack at the start of the turn, which is actually a pretty good boost. And you'll see it throughout that um, he does hit for a pretty decent amount. He's got a very solid uh, set of link skills. Strongest clan in space is... Uh, plus two key, thirst for conquest, 15% increase to attack big bad bosses, attack and defense increase to 25% when, when HP is 80% or below. Uh, brutal beatdowns, 10% increase to attack metamorphosis, recovers 5% HP. Universe's most malevolent is 15% increase to attack, <clears throat> and fierce battle is 15% increase to attack as well. Again, he falls into three categories, movie bosses, enhanced transformation, and most malevolent clan. As you see, maxed out, uh, you're looking at HP of 14,129, attack is 13,507, and defense is 9,637, 12 key multipliers, 145%. So again, not quite to the level of the physical version, but, you know, he has supreme damage versus immense, which the physical version does have. The physical version also gets an attack and defense increase of 100% with the ability to launch an additional attack. Um, so, you know, definitely a lesser uh, power hitter in terms of, you know, comparing the two. But uh, again, this guy is very solid on uh, either movie bosses, enhanced transformation, or the most malevolent clan. Um, again, if you're lacking uh, dupes or you're lacking the unit in general for the physical version, this guy's, again, a great unit. Um, again, you know, the, the thing about this unit is he does have very solid uh, link sets. Links pretty well with most of the units, uh, especially extreme type units, even on a movie boss, movie boss category. Uh, he's going to link up pretty well with the rest of the team. I mean, you're looking at, you know, links like Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Brutal Beatdown, Fierce Battle. So it doesn't have to be confined into, you know, the Frieza clan type units. It can be units like Janemba that you're seeing right now. Um, other units like Turles will also share links that you'll see him link throughout. Um, the Golden Frieza I did add in because of you know the great support that that unit provides. You were looking at uh, you know the ability to increase 30% uh, uh, for attack for movie boss category allies as well as a super attack ability to increase attack as well. So uh, it definitely does add up. And throughout the video, in in parts here and there, you will see. Uh, Golden Frieza attack first to further enhance the cooler unit's ability to you know maximize the uh, the attack potential. So again, I like this guy a lot, and I used to run this guy quite a bit before I ended up getting my you know physical cooler unit to uh, close to Rainbow. He's at 90% right now, so obviously um, I'm definitely going to pick him over the tech version, but. I did use the tech version for quite a long time uh, and he definitely fit the bill in terms of a solid unit within either extreme, uh, movie bosses, whatever. I mean, you know, this, I was using this unit way before, you know, the um, uh, most malevolent clan and enhanced transformation team uh, was even a thing. Um, probably used, I, I probably used them back when, you know, the best villain team you could create was, you know, the, the Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, double lead type of stuff. So he's been around for a little while and uh, he's, he's definitely a very solid unit. Um, again, I rate him pretty highly. I think he's honestly a little bit underrated. 
you can see the t attack stat potentials. I mean, it's it's definitely uh, uh, a very solid number. I mean, you're looking anywhere between you know 1.2 to 1.6 million, uh, depending on the rotation, obviously. But um, yeah, he's 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 very good in my opinion, and. You know, he definitely does uh, hide in the shadows uh, compared to the physical version. Obviously, the that version is, is a much, much better unit overall. But, you know, this guy's still pretty good. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I used to run this guy a lot. Uh, again, before the, uh, you know, physical version uh, came about and, and uh, not came about, but before I actually picked up a lot of dupes for him. So... Yeah, he's he's uh he's an enjoyable unit. I love the super attack animation. You know, it's clean and simple. It's it's one of those you know brolic gangster style uh, super attacks. You know, something like you know sit your ass down while grown folks is talking. You know, kind of thing. So it's definitely a pretty cool uh, unit overall. And um, you know, I, I like the uh, card art as well. It's very solid, uh, very very uh, clean looking. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of good memories with this unit and. I, like I said, I did want to do an updated version because, you know, you're looking at Super Saiyan Broly as as Lee that provides, you know, 170% for uh, movie boss category allies, you know, um, that's that's much better with a double lead, you know, compared to the uh, Turles setup, so it does make a difference. Again, Golden Freeze is obviously um, uh, a new unit that's been added fairly recently, um, definitely does help as a support. Janemba did get an easy A recently too, so kind of want to uh, include him on there just to see how rotations work with the uh, tech cooler. You know, all kinds of stuff kind of uh, led to kind of revamping the uh, showcase for this unit. So again, I like this unit a lot. He's a very good unit. Uh, you know, not the best obviously, but he's uh, he's a good enough unit to fit the bill for, uh, you know, the, all, all three categories that he falls into. Again, the good thing about this unit, uh, like I said, is is he does have very solid uh, link sets, uh, pretty much versatile unit. You you can essentially pair him up with uh, most of the units, honestly, within you know the three categories. Even an extreme team, you could pair him up for the most part with a lot of units. Like a, a lot of the villain type units or extreme type units do have thirst for conquest, big bad bosses, you know, even stuff like brutal beatdown. And most of the good units do have fierce battle, obviously. So. Um, yeah, he's 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 a very good unit, very solid, uh, versatile, um, yeah, and helpful unit overall. I mean, I don't know. I haven't, you know, I'm kind of talking while I'm, you know, going over the footage. So, you know, I haven't really pinpointed exactly, you know, all the all the attack, you know, potential outputs and damage output itself. But he's definitely uh, um, averaging easily over a mil. Uh, most of the time he's on rotation. Now, he is getting some help uh, with Golden Frieza or the Turles unit, but you know, even without it, uh, I think he'll be uh, pretty solid overall. And I thought about uh, showcasing, showcasing this unit on the uh, most malevolent clan category, but uh, personally, if I were to pick one of the two, you know, I, I'd probably prefer running the movie boss category, um, you know, based on my deck, obviously, but uh, I think it's it's probably uh, uh, a better selection, I guess, uh, overall, even though, like, you know, the, the links overall will be better, uh, probably on the most malevolent clan, because you're looking at most of the units having the uh, strongest clan in space, and uh, universe's most malevolent uh, link skills out of, you know, the rest of them, but, um, you know, I, I love the movie boss category team. It's probably my favorite category right now in, in Dokkan Battle. Um, Turles is definitely one of my favorite units in the game right now. And um, yeah, it's just a fun team to run, really. It's, it's, it's a very fun team. And, you know, Golden Frieza definitely does make a difference. When I, I gave Golden Frieza level 11 additional attack, uh, I, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's either 11 15 or 14, 14 12. But uh, he does get the additional attack for another super quite a bit, and you gotta understand like the um, the attack increase for allies will stack based on the uh, the amount of super attack. So, you know, just just a second ago you saw the you know tech uh, final form cooler hit close to about uh, he well he had an attack potential up to about two million or a little bit over. So, you know, it, it definitely does make a difference in terms of having Golden Frieza in, in the uh, rotation help him out. So. <clears throat> That unit is a free-to-play unit and is a very good unit, so any global players that are watching this, uh, definitely make sure to farm that. It's, it's worth the rainbow in my opinion. Uh, very solid support for the uh, uh, movie boss category team. 
All right, let's see how he does with the uh, Dokkan mode attack. This is against the strength type of Mega Shenron unit. So Shenron does have pretty decent defense overall. So the output itself might be a little bit less than uh, some, some other boss types you, you might be facing. But, you know, we'll go ahead and check it out here and then kind of wrap up the video. But, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I mean, this is a very solid.